Many people, of course, know Japan's most famous places, like the city of Tokyo. However, what many visitors don't realize is just how beautiful Japan's landscapes outside of Tokyo truly are. Japan's geography is filled with an endless range of breathtaking mountain peaks. Thankfully, in 1964, author and now legendary mountaineer Kyuya Fukada published a book called Nihon Hyakumeizan, 100 Famous Mountains of Japan. Our aim is to introduce those 100 mountain peaks and landscapes to you, one at a time, by hiking Japan's Hyakumeizan. This is the first mountain of Hyakumeizan. Akagi-san. Actually, Akagi-san is technically the mountain range. The two peaks we're interested in are Komagatake and Kurobisan. Kurobisan is today's goal, the tallest peak within the Akagi-san mountain range. The Akagi-san mountain range is located in Gumma, just northwest of Tokyo, roughly 130 kilometers from Tokyo Station. A train can take you to Takasaki Station. From there, you'll change to get to Mayabashi Station. Lastly, a bus that runs on weekends will take you to the Akagi-san Visitor Center. The whole trip is roughly two and a half hours. Today, in February, we've got plenty of snow, but otherwise this is a short and easygoing hike. Up the first peak, across the ridge to Kurobisan, and then back down to Kagi Shrine and the now frozen lake. In total, we're talking roughly 5 kilometers and some fantastic views. An easygoing hike, though today we'll be needing the snow spikes. It's very far from ocean, it's very far from the Pacific Islands and also far from the Japan, Sea of Japan, so it doesn't snow a lot. one of the 100 famous mountains of Japan, Takumeizan. And uh, we're heading to a uh, 1,800 meter mountain summit of uh, Akagi-san, which is called Kurobiyama Peak. And we're starting from here, we have about one meter of snow. That's crazy, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> February of Japan usually don't have this much of snow, but this year, 2022, Actually, we have a bunch of snow. Look at this. This is Tomagadake, which is one of the one of the several peaks of Akagi-san. Oh, it's covered with snow, maybe about one meter or so. Well, Carlos and I made it a hundred meters, and we need crampons. The snow is deep; it's hard to walk in, and we're sliding a lot. And next time, I'm going to be getting some hiking poles. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. It says to towards the Komagatake. Komagatake is the first peak of this Akagi Mountains. Do you want to meet Okay, we came to Akagi Mountains and we are in the Komagatake Peak, one of the two or three peaks of the Akagi Mountains. And, uh, very good view, of course, <laughs> I, I, don't, it's not, I don't need to explain. But since it's very cold, maybe the temperature is minus 7 or 8 degrees and wind is blowing more than 5 to 6 meters per hour.
and uh, we're almost uh, just only five minutes far away from the real peak, real top of Nakajisan. So real peak is that way? Yeah, real peak is that way. We got a lot of wind on the peak, right? Yeah, we might have. That's why we are staying at here. This is called a uh, view, very nice view spot of the Kanto plain. All clouds right now. <laughs> But we'll sit down and we'll have some lunch. Yeah. And then we'll ascend to the peak. So far, so gold. So, Blah, so good. So good. <laughs> Made it. Yeah, we made it. 1,828 meters. Yeah. It's uh, it's minus four degrees. <laughs> Peninsula, and we don't take to the left to the uh, over the bridge, but we go straight down towards the lake because the lake is frozen, totally frozen. It's safe, I think, because lots of people are doing enjoying the fishing. Just say. Yeah. The left one should be the Kurobiyama, the highest peak of uh, Akagi-san, the entire Akagi-san. Mm. And uh, maybe the, right in the middle or at the right could be Komagatake, the first peak we went 